Okay, hold traffic for me if you would. Holding traffic. Holding traffic. Copy, we're cutting. Yeah, so this is a second day of uh, doing some roadside cutting, kind of difficult, complicated wood. So I think I had, let's see, I had uh, gas line, power line, road, buffer, boundary line, and houses. I don't know if I'm leaving anything out, but top it all off it was only about an acre and a half but it had some good volume on it and um, we got it done no problems but it was pretty complicated so the night before I cut stuff in board and I had to throw that in away from the field because the gas line was right along the edge of that I didn't want to travel on that So I cut up to a safe distance from the road. And, uh, Owen showed up the next day, a couple of company flaggers, and uh, we finished the rest of it off here. Car coming down. Copy. Let me know when you can hold traffic. Car coming down. Copy. That gray car is clear here. Car is clear. You can hold traffic. Holding traffic. Cutting. So, I just wanted to talk a little bit about communication on, on a job like this, because that really is the key thing. And, uh, and, you know, we had a really good team. You can send traffic. With the four people. Truck coming down. But, but, you know, creating a kind of a system of communication so we all are on the same page kind of work smoothly, and safely, and productively is just really important. And uh, I feel pretty good about it. I've, I've worked with several different groups of flaggers over the years and, and uh, kind of come up with a system. It seems like sometimes it's a little redundant, but that helps everybody be on the same page so we know what's going on. Okay, well, I'm going to do a little machine cutting here. Let me know when the car is done, I'll stop. Copy. So this, uh, this stand 
this little strip along the road. You know, it had some really pretty good sized wood that was heavily limb loaded the wrong way, all of it. And uh, then it had some smaller wood that was tangled up in this that I had to, you know, we don't hook the big stuff as you can see, and then take out the smaller wood as I came to it. You know, it, it's funny cutting, you know, the small wood alongside a road. Um, you know, like in a unit, you know, I cut a couple hundred of these trees an hour, you know, but like there's something about cutting along a road or with obstacles that uh, I'm not ashamed to say I still, you know, get kind of nerved up about them. That's kind of funny, you know. But, you know, that's kind of a good thing, you know, because uh, it's good to take it seriously. You don't want them going the wrong way. A lot of stuff could, a lot of stuff could go wrong, so. Another thing about a small unit like this is basically it's a triangle, and like I said, it was only about probably an acre and a half, something like that. But you know, it probably had you know 20,000 on it or so, so it definitely was well worth cutting for the landowner. But uh, but given all the obstacles, barriers, and whatnot, it's it's quite complicated to figure out a way to get the wood on the ground so you can save it out and still give the shovel. Uh, fighting chance of logging it, you know, uh, so I was pretty pleased with how it all came out. First time I looked at it, I was about ready to tear my hair out, but looked at it again, got it figured out. By the time we got, I got to it, I had a pretty good Five idea. Copy. Truck went a different direction, but there is a car coming down. Okay, thanks. Yeah, and once again, it's always a pleasure work with Owen. Uh, and and we all, all four of us, work together really well on it. And, and that's really the key with something like this. It's complicated and potentially uh, you know, potentially hazardous. It's good to know everybody's on the same page. Pull it together. You're good to go there, load a truck, come on down when the traffic's open for you. Are you saying something to me? Yeah, I said you're good to go, come on down when the traffic's good for you. Awesome, thank you. Yes, yeah, so once again, good communication, everybody's on the same page. Holding traffic after this truck, log truck. Holding traffic. Copy, cutting. Lock truck clear. Secret. Copy. Secret. Your video on. Secret. So we had a question on that first video on this unit about high stumps and. Uh, you can see that in the comment section. 
question and my response. Another thing I was thinking about is that uh, you got a trick? with a Humboldt or West Coast undercut, the waste is coming out of the stump, not out of the log. And, uh, so you need a pretty good uh, slice to the tree to hold on but not pull fiber. Send traffic if you need to. So that's another difference between the West Coast and the East Coast in terms of stumps, cutting, cutting style. These last three or four here is backing up against down the hill and uh, close to a property line, closer to the road. And, uh, these weren't really big trees. They're big enough. They're tall. They're three logs or better. But they were heavily limb loaded the wrong way, you know, going growing next to the road. And, uh, and it's always a good feeling when they're on the ground. Okay, let me know when you're holding traffic. Holding traffic. And I think this system is really productive. Owen and I have been doing it for quite a while together this type of wood and uh, you know I mean it, it is fairly expensive but uh, really this loaded wood with you know okay, problems you know, all around um, to have that power there and save jacking it you know and pounding wedges sometimes both really speeds it up and, uh, I think I think it's I think it's pretty efficient let me know when you're holding traffic. Holding traffic. Holding traffic. This one here, I had to sneak out on the, you know, on, kind of right on the shoulder. I've been out cutting wire and getting it away so I didn't get that tangled up in the tracks. I love that old barbed wire. Yeah, it's a pleasure to work with Owen, and uh, I mean, he's a professional, you know, he, he, uh, I have confidence in his skills, and uh, so between the two of us, you know, in terms of cutting the trees down, getting them on the ground, you know, there's kind of a, there's kind of a confidence, I guess, that, you know, we're going to make it work safely, make it work right, put it where he wants it. Coming down. Coming. 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 Coming
Discovery. Yeah, so, uh, you know, again, that, that, that communication, so, like, you know, it's, uh, everybody knows what's going on, whether we're cutting, uh, you know, if, car, if traffic's coming up, you know, you know, there may not be anything going on. Yeah, That's just a good thing. It contributed to getting this job done quickly, and productively, and safely. Really, when you get right down to it, that's the, the most important thing. Yeah, so thanks to everybody involved. Hope you find it interesting. Thanks for watching. That was the one we were waiting for.